How amazing, but something even more amazing is Fitton native Ryan James Delaney, who has always dreamed of seeing his name on the big screen. The Rockwood Summit grad is a testament to those dreams coming true under the lights in front and behind the camera and all the action. Ryan James Delaney is here this morning to talk to us about his producing and acting career and his newest film that's in production right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Yes, so please tell great. us about this upcoming film. Okay, so it's a documentary. So I, I usually work on movies and I had this amazing opportunity to work on this documentary and not just produce it and direct it, but to actually be a team member on it, mm. which is very new for me. Right. Um, it's about Louis Shakes. He's from France and he has a rare disease, um, toxic epidermal necrolysis. And you know, it's extremely rare. Mm -hmm. And he is an aspiring NHL hockey player and he goes to Missouri State. And you know, I believe that he's had you know, survivor's guilt in mm -hmm. a sense. And so he's always been saying like, why me? Why did I survive this? What can I do? And he got a hold of me um, and he said, hey, this is my, you know, journey. This is what I want to do. He wants to inline skate across the United States. That's from crazy. From Venice Beach, <laughs> California, ending in Times Square, New York City. Wow. And he's not only doing this, he takes off June 1st, 2022, in Ooh. nine days. So <laughs> this is a, a really big journey, and I'm really, really excited for him. He's, you know, to be part of something. And I had a dream, mm -hmm. and I followed my dream, and I was just very persistent, and uh, I persevered every step of the way. And that's what he's doing. Right. It's just, it's an incredible thing to be part of it, not just as his producer and the director, but as his team member, mm -hmm. just like really seeing the highs and the lows. You know, um, just, it's almost like a thriller, just, it's like, it, it feels like if the, if the production comes out, you kind of know that he made it, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's like, I feel like it's gonna be the thriller of like, did he actually make it, you know? Yeah, there's a huge thrill aspect to it, but I think, like, I, I'm sure everyone on, on the team could like speak for themselves, but for me, I feel like the hardest part um, and even for him is just like the training and the mm -hmm. logistics right. behind everything. A lot of people don't realize the logistics mm -hmm. are like, whoa, you don't just wake up and decide just, just do this. there's like yeah. special skates mm -hmm. and there's special clothing and mm -hmm. there's so much that goes into it. And that's the hardest part. I feel like once we get out there, yeah, we're going to run into problems, right? right? Elements, unforeseen mm -hmm. things. And, and you have <laughs> the excitement of even wanting to get out there. And then it's like that you know, those roadblocks and those hurdles, you're like, yes. ah, do we want to keep going through with this? And so yeah. um, that's real life stuff. Uh, I know you have another project that just came out, Night Night. It pre premiered in November 2021. It, so can yeah. you talk about that? Yeah, so Night Night, that was just an incredible experience. A lot of hard work that went into mm -hmm. that as well. But um, I ended up connecting with our director, um, Nikki Koss. And she's like, I'm directing, you know, it was her directorial debut. And she's like, I got the psychological thriller. Um, she's like, would you like to produce this, you know? Oh. And I was like, absolutely. So I ended up coming to Texas. Okay. And the executive producer is Amber McNutt, and the writer is Robert Johnson. Okay. And it's starring lovely Brenna D'Amico. Oh, nice. Yeah, so she was um, one of the descendants in the Disney Channel. Okay. And, you know, it was just an incredible experience filming that. It was cold. I didn't know it got cold in Texas until right. it was cold. <laughs> And I've so seen snow there a couple of times. The very late nights we film, you know, all hours of the day. Then we'll go to like night sh night shoots, um, and then you know I wanted the distribution company. This was during COVID, and this is when a lot of things were like shut down and mm -hmm. everything. So the distribution company was a little nervous on theaters right. because we don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I said, well can you let me, like, let me distribute the movie to the right. theaters and, like, let's see what happens. And they're like, sure, go ahead. We don't want nothing to do with it. And I was wow. like, okay. So I ended up calling um, Marcus Theaters. Mm -hmm. used to be Ronnie's. I grew up in Fenton, Missouri, right, right, going right. to Ronnie's, which mm -hmm. is now Marcus Theaters in Lindbergh. And I've always dreamed of, like, seeing my movie up there, whether I produced it or I act in it or, you know, directed it, whatever right. it might be. And... They loved it. They screened wow. it, and they were like, "Let's do it." So, I when I went to release it to the public here, we ended up selling out in like less than 24 hours for one auditorium. Wow. So I get on the phone and I'm like, "Hey, I think I could get another theater." 
And they're like, let's do it. So nice. I ended up releasing the information. We're selling, um, we have other another auditorium. They're like, all right, let's do it. We ended up selling out in like less than Holy 24 hours. Cow. Ended up like crashing the website. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, the distribution company was nervous. P I felt like people really wanted to get out and go see like, a movie and support, right, right, I mean, right. the, the hometown support. Well, listen, you guys can find out more about Ryan's projects and follow Louis' journey on social media. We will hear more from Louis later in the show. Now, you know, here on Show Me St. Louis, we love to share good news and spotlight people in our community who are spreading joy. That's why we've invited Louis Shakes here on the show this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, Louis is actually from France, but he has certainly made his mark on St. Louis and soon so much more of the U.S. So you have a pretty interesting story. Thank you. Kind of take me through it from the beginning. How did you get here, first of all? Yeah, so I was born in Paris, France, uh, and then... Early on, you know, I started playing hockey when I was four. I fell in love with the sport and became my passion. And uh, when I was six years old, I was diagnosed with a really rare skin disease called toxic epidermal necrosis. Uh, extremely rare disease. I wasn't supposed to survive and, you know, somehow made it out. And when I was sick, I promised myself that one day, after I survived, I'd be playing hockey in North America. So at the age of 14, I left on my own to play high school hockey in Canada for two years. And then I played junior hockey in Toronto, El Paso, Texas, college hockey in Boston, and then transferred to Missouri State last year. And uh, now we're on to a pretty big journey. A pretty big journey, that's an <laughs> understatement. Now before we get into that big journey, when you cheat death, it's like you have an entirely different view on life. So mm -hmm. talk to me about that. Yeah, you know, it was, I'm really glad I went through this early on because it really changed my perspective on life and shows you that life is really fragile. and. It's not, it sounds really cliche when you hear it all the time, but it's true. My life changed just like that after a normal school day. Uh, I woke up the next day, I was covered in blisters, my skin was falling off, and then three, four weeks later, I was, I was facing death. And 17 years after being sick, you know, I never got the chance to speak with survivors and, and, and researchers, and I felt this guilt. I was like, why is it that I get to live this life and, and chase my dreams every day and, and really go after what I want to accomplish in life while other people are still fighting with this disease and they don't have answers for themselves. I certainly don't have certain answers for myself. And um, yeah, survivor's guilt, and I was, I, I was like, I need to do something. There's a reason why I'm here, there's a reason why I'm alive, and uh, let's get involved, let's give back, and, and let's give hope to people around me. Incredible story. Thank now you. take me to where you are now in this incredible journey that you've hinted at a little bit. Yeah, so we are right now here in St. Louis <laughs> with Ryan, uh, Mikey, and um, we are about to head to LA today because we're nine days away from the start of this journey. On June 1st, 2022, uh, I'll, be I'll be skating sorry, from Venice Beach Skate Park all the way to Times Square, New York City uh, to help raise funds and awareness for research for the disease. Now you're used to being on skates, but not those kind of skates, right? That's right. <laughs> it's not like they have ice from coast to coast. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I couldn't ice skate across America, but I could inline skate. and. I was like, let's let's use what I do best, and uh, which is skating, and you know, just 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 use that and go after something bigger than myself. Yeah, well, you'll be covering more of U.S. than most U.S. residents have ever been able to cover and will ever cover in their life. So, your friends, your family, everyone involved in backing you on this journey, what are they saying? At first, uh, I mean, my family's always been really supportive, and when I told them I wanted to do this, they they, they told me, what why don't you just skate across Missouri? And I looked at them like, Mom, Dad. <laughs> it's not cool enough. <laughs> I really need to. I, I really need to do something big here, and you know they know me. That's the kind of person I am. I, I like to push myself and, and see really what I'm made of. And I, you know, I, I get to be alive and healthy and, and exercise every day. It's something I cherish, and I want to push my body to the absolute limit and and see see what I could do with that. So everybody's been so supportive. It's been a surreal feeling to to see so many people just get involved and and really just you know cheer you on and and. It, it makes you really thankful and makes you want to work twice as hard to, to get this goal accomplished. Absolutely. And you'll be documenting the entire experience, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, every day, you know, on social media, uh, we get an amazing team put together. We want to make a documentary out of this and, and just show people that what happens to you doesn't define you, but how you overcome and respond does. Absolutely. Well, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We are encouraging all of our viewers to watch that journey along with you. And like you said, you'll be posting live, mm -hmm. social media, all that good stuff. You have a huge community behind you. And really, the whole U.S. wants the word get spread, right? Exactly. Awesome. Well, good luck to you on that. All the information right here on your screen. And we cannot wait to watch that journey.